Okay, I guess I have to promise to stay away. Okay, basically, in the general fund, we had a beginning balance of $354,000 uh, this year, and uh, revenues for this year are $488,000. Revenues for next year are anticipated to be $455,000-$56,000, and the only difference being that local government is shrinking some more. Expenditures... This year are, are anticipated at 542000 And for next year, I upped on just like one and a half, two percent or whatever wages and um, health care costs will no doubt go up. Um, or they might be the same actually. But And then the health, the personal, um, public works has always been. You know, like there was 11,000 and 9,000. This year I'm anticipating 19,000. I did 119,000, and that line item is a road use, so that to pump up the road a little bit mm -hmm. if, if we need it. We will. That's what I'm thinking. And then uh, the $150,000 was repaid, and so that's, you know, bumping up the beginning balance for next year. but for the beginning of 2013, but I anticipate ending 2013 at like $197,000, which is a little bit lower than usual. Um, the motor vehicle license tax is kind of the same, the same. Started with $8,300. Uh, we will receive 21240 this year. Also, next year, the revenues will be the same. Expenditures will be that same $21,400, both this year and next year. And I anticipate that 2013 will end with, like, the old $8,000 balance. Uh, special revenue, the gasoline tax, uh, is started this year with the $52,000 balance. Revenues for this year and next year are anticipated to be $85,000. Uh, and expenditures this year, I have it slated for the eighty-five thousand, which would uh, give us a carryover of fifty-two thousand at the beginning of twenty thirteen. But I bumped up an extra forty thousand dollars in the public works again, thinking road department uh, in expenses, which would give us an ending balance of ninety-five hundred dollars at the end of 2013. Um, special revenue uh, road and bridge, we started, we had a carryover balance of 78000 There was that adjustment made of 25350 which was the truck payment mm -hmm. mix-up. Revenues, both this year and next year, are anticipated to be $1,071,000. Uh, expenditures this year, I have a one million seventy-seven thousand, giving us a carryover of forty-six thousand eight hundred ninety-three dollars at the beginning of 2013, with the same revenues anticipated. Pretty much the same expenditures, a little bit higher, maybe, leaving a balance of forty thousand dollars at the end of 2013. Cemetery fund. Um, is pretty straightforward. We started off with $12,000. Our revenues are, you know, in $7,600, and that's uh, fees from open and close, fees from footers, and the sale of cemetery lots. I anticipated this year and next year not to be any change um, in revenues. And then expenditures, I, the only expenditure is sexton salary. And I put $5,000 for each year to pay for the uh, Sheffield repair work. So that's kind of straightforward. It will probably end 2013 with a $9,000 balance. <clears throat> Special levy, uh, 2191. That fund, you can see in 2011 and 2012, the increased revenues from the levy 
and the revenues weren't really spent because of the project and the USDA. So we started this year with $297,000 carryover. Uh, revenues this year are anticipated at $870,000. Expenditures, uh, that $50,000 down there is for the interest payment that was actually drawn out today. Uh, on contract and uh, a little bit of repair work or whatever. So expenditures are 90, uh, 973000 this year. Carryover of 141 to start 2013. But uh, revenues are anticipated 869000 Expenses, um, I showed the $150,000 there. That would be the payment, the principal and interest in 2013. And I figure, you know, if nothing else pops up, that we would end 2013 with maybe $78,000 to have a carryover of 78. So isn't that 150 is principal and interest? Yeah. Yeah, like 50 for principal and 100 for interest. And the USDA couldn't give me uh, until all the funds are expended. It's not uh, a, uh, a set schedule yet. Mm -hmm. As soon as all the money's expended, which we can't be soon enough for <laughs> some of us. Be happy when that paper yeah, is then I'll get an amortization thing and I'll know. Uh, the debt service fund, 3101, uh, we started with a $7,000 balance this year. That $25,000 below it is the adjustment coming in from the road bridge for the truck payment. Um, the expenditures are truck payments. The 79556 is what is being made this year in truck payments. The 50000 is money coming in from road and bridge so that I can make those truck payments. I anticipate uh, next year to start off with $4,000. And then I'm going to have the county only give me forty six five fifty six ninety eight next year. Truck payments next year are going to be fifty thousand seven hundred one. So I'll end twenty thirteen with the zero balance because that shouldn't have a carryover. That fund it should just be what we need. Period. So <clears throat> then we go to the capital projects and four nine hundred one started the year with one hundred and fifty three thousand dollars. That twelve thousand is rents coming in and. For expenditures, I just plugged in 50000 for this year to buy fuel oil or whatever is needed. Uh, the transfers in, that 24000 kind of reflects um, franchise fees that we transferred in. Or, you know, one year we had you know, state tax or something. That's what this. And then next year, if we have. You know, we would maybe start off with 139000 if 2012 goes as this is shown. And I didn't show any revenues. I didn't show any expenditures because I don't know what that fund's going to do or what you're going to use it for. So I just didn't do anything. But the transferring in, say, 24000 in franchise fees, if we didn't spend any money, we could maybe have 163000 Well, you have issues for that. Well, yeah. And then the other two, the last two capital funds, uh, 4902 is the park. Now that, that's a capital fund because we got $100,000. What was left at the beginning of this year was $4,771. When that money is spent, and it will be spent before the year ends, that fund is going away. And any future, unless we get another capital right. grant, any future expenditures and income, I'll set up funds in the general fund to handle it. So that should be gone next year. And the same for our uh, fire department addition capital fund. Once the money, and like we started off with $55,000, uh, you know, we're getting payments from the USDA as we present bills. Um, I you'll see at the top of the next page that minus 97.5. That was 
transfer to the general fund as part of the 150. And um, again, at the end of the year, any money we've gotten in, we'll, we'll pay bills and that'll cease to exist. And that's pretty much it. Um, can explain it, but um, on the Road and Bridge account, uh, several weeks back there was mention of the fact that uh, there would be no contracts awarded for chip and seal. Uh, I'm just curious um, on um, the uh, public works section for both 2012 and 2013 in Road and Bridge. Uh, we appear to be seeing the same amount of money expended. Where might we look That's to see That's impossible. The That's not that is what is set aside to be expended. Okay, so for worst case, yeah, exactly. okay. okay if a hole develops someplace, I mean. Okay, so if, at the end of the year, when when does that 235,000 actually, or whatever was saved by not awarding the contract, when does that actually show up on the books? It would show up as a carryover balance if it's not spent at the beginning of, at the end of this year. Uh, okay, yeah. so in January 1st. Okay. And hopefully we will have some carryover because $46,000 is not really sufficient to right. do much running of the road park. And, and one other question, if you would please, uh, in the general account, I wrapped my head over the numbers in parentheses, the 535 and the 539. Oh, that was just something I wrote for that my was, own benefit. Oh, oh, okay. Doesn't mean anything in particular. No, it, it just kind of refers to a uh, account code. Okay. No, that I. Okay. No, Thank you. Property tax allocation. Okay. Uh, one comment. It's not not really a question. Uh, all through the document, wherever it says uh, personnel, it's spelled personal. Uh, I just wonder if. You know what? That is not uh, me. That is the UAN people. Doesn't say where. Oh yeah, general government personal. Well, yeah. Auditors. Accountants. Yeah, you're right. It does. Well, personal property. You know, we do collect personal property tax, so. Of course, that's expenditures, yeah. Salary is a personal thing, <laughs> as well as a personnel.